I'm just like looking at myself, yeah, cute. <laughs> button down below and join the team if you are not new here welcome back so y'all saw my little morning routine me making breakfast i actually just got back in from pilates um that's where i was going this morning so today's monday i had the day off today I have the day off today for president's day so figured i would get back into pilates because y'all i have not been since like before christmas like since everything that like happened with my dad have not been to Pilates so a good like two months so wanted to get back into it good class today I took a different instructor she's kind of a newer instructor than the girl that I usually take like during the week but she was really good really enjoyed the class so yeah I'm back home now went in checked the mail and I have a ton of of packages that i need to open with first one being from dima eyewear shout out to them for sending your girl over some new sunglasses because y'all know it's not quite spring yet but spring is on the way okay and even though you can wear sunglasses year round i don't know i just feel like springtime summertime you, you want new sunglasses new shades all of the things so i got two new pairs which I'm super excited about. So, love the packaging. Super cute, black, sleek. Y'all know I love anything black. Super sleek packaging. The first pair that I have, and I love that they come in their own little dust bag as well. These are good for like when you are traveling too. I don't know about y'all, but I don't travel with like a whole i know that's like a thing now to have like the sunglasses travel case that just takes up too much space in my opinion that's just my opinion i feel like that's another added like little case or you know how you have your jewelry case and your makeup case and all of that is too much so i love when i have like glasses like this that just come in a little dust bag i could throw them in a little pouch and be good to go i ain't got a whole bunch of you know extra cases or whatever so the first pair baby <laughs> these are fire look at these look at this these are so cute i love these so these are the edith and this is in the cream um tortoise and gray color yeah these are fire love these and i love like i used to be such like an aviator girl <laughs> aviator sunglasses and sean was like bro you look like a cop like 
and so i've like definitely transitioned into more of like the cat eye but then also um i'm gonna show you the other pair that i got more of like the square kind of um frame look so i absolutely love these these are perfect and if you know me i stay in neutral colors tans blacks creams all of that so this is perfect it will go with a lot that i have so absolutely love these like i said these are the um these are the edith sunglasses and i'll have both of these linked down below in the description box and they gave me a 15 percent off discount code for y'all so i'm gonna put that right here on the screen as well as in the description box so if you want to get you a pair you know next pair and again these come in the same little like dust bag these are the vivid sunglasses and i love these y'all because i had a pair like this um that i had purchased um a while ago and i lost them on my bachelorette trip so when we were in savannah so i'm so glad i have another pair that looks just like them so cute we love it we love it don't we yeah these are these are bomb like i said i've definitely become more of like the square frame cat eye frame girly with my glasses so i absolutely love these and this color is everything if you know me nudes is this is what we go for okay and they have a bunch of different colors in um this frame this is the milk brown and brown gradient okay love these these are so cute i'm just like looking at myself yeah cute <laughs> these are so fire i love both of these so yes yeah, love both of these so again thank you dima for sending these over to me greatly appreciate it love these i cannot wait to wear these and like i said you guys i will have the links to these sunglasses down below in the description box and there is a discount code so you can get you some coins off we love we love a brand that wants us to save a coin or two okay absolutely love it so put these back in my little bag these are so cute i love these yeah so like i said i just got back in here from pilates but i did stop at trader joe's um because i thought they were going to have and that's what that's the only thing i don't like about trader joe's it's like it's kind of like a marshall's when you go in there and you see something you need to get it then and stock up on it apparently so i was just in trader joe's on what was that tuesday and i had got I love these little juices that they have so i got the green one and then they had a new red one and i was like oh let me try this out i only got one baby i wish i would have got three okay so i went back today i was like okay it was just here a few days ago let me see if they have the red no red they only had the green and the purple one so didn't get to uh get that but i did just grab some oh jesus grab some more bananas you excuse me okay grab some more bananas because i bring bananas in this house and why is it only one left like sean goes through i've only had one banana i made an acai bowl yesterday and all the rest of the bananas are gone it's only one left i'm like sean what are you what are you doing <laughs> So grab some more bananas and then again Sean what are you doing I picked these up I'm trying not I don't keep a bunch of snacks in the house because all the extra sugar and all of that stuff you know really trying to limit it um, but y'all know one thing I cannot resist is anything that is cinnamon bun related cinnamon bun flavored and so they have these basically cinnamon bun jojo's which is basically like trader joe's oreos and these are the cinnamon inspired one so good i only eat like two or three at a time like i'll have two one day and then i'm like okay i didn't have a snack i'll have two the next day so i grabbed these last when i went on tuesday box is almost gone so i was like okay i'm gonna get one more box and then that's it i'm not buying these no more i haven't been eating them sean been eating them up 
per usual. Then I just got some more avocados because baby, my avocado toast this morning was struggling, okay? I was on my last leg of red pepper flakes. That avocado I had was on its last leg. I didn't even get to use a lot of it because it was not, you know, it was pretty much a lot of it was brown. So my avocado toast this morning was not hitting because my ingredients wasn't there okay so got some more avocados for the week got some more red pe pepper flakes and then of course i just got some waters love trader joe's alkaline water so that's all i got from trader joe's and then i went to ulta because well i put in a pickup order yesterday because they had my toner the rosewater heritage store one um on sale buy one get one like 40 percent off so i was like oh let me place a pickup order and then of course in my order i had i wanted to try um a clear brow gel just because i've noticed like the more i do my makeup um like my brows be popping but i need them to like Day, okay so i just picked up the i put the elf brow lift thing in my cart why was that the only thing they had in stock i was so mad i had to go all the way to that altar just for this so they canceled my um toner because it wasn't in stock so i'm gonna try and get it at another store if not i'm just gonna order it from target target never lets me down but i wanted to use ulta because i had a gift card Hence, all my gift cards that I got for Christmas in my little booklet. Um, so, yeah. So, since I was already all the way over there, that Ulta, there's a pop shelf over there. And I went to pop shelf the other day. I had to take my nephew to a birthday party. And it was out in Matthews. And so, we stopped at the pop shelf over there. Y'all, I found, y'all know those cute little, like, syrup dispensers? Um, that you can get on Amazon. Oh, yeah, I didn't even show y'all the upgrades to my Nespresso bar. Okay, first of all We got an espresso pod little drawer thing How cute and official is she? <laughs> okay, real cute real official but then Y'all know these Little things off of Amazon. Yeah, this was at pop shelf. I got this for two dollars and fifty cents and it was the only one <laughs> i was like oh let me grab this one so when i was at the other location in pop shelf i was like let me go in here and see if they have any more of these because this was on clearance and i was like two dollars and fifty cents for this and this one is like this is glass like good this is literally like the ones that come off of amazon and i was like oh i need at least like one or two more so i can put those syrups in it but of course they didn't have it and i was like that just happened to be just a luck a lucky find that I found one of those at um, Pop Shelf. But I went in there and of course I still got something. So I got some new little clear bins for my drawers in the bathroom just because I need to reorganize my little like hair drawer where I keep all of like my scrunchies and clips and combs and brushes and stuff like that and these were only a dollar so i got these and these are a little more sturdy and bigger than the ones that i got from dollar tree that i currently have so i got these and then i just got a little spoolie brush because this was either one dollar or two dollars to use with that elf um brow gel stuff so that's what i got from pop shelf absolutely love pop shelf when we went in there the other day my nephew was like what store is this i said this is like the five below before adults like <laughs> and i think five below and pop shelf are like pretty much under the same company but i was like you know you come in pop shelf it's just very like it's like the target of five below five below is like the walmart it's just going there they got shit everywhere it's just stuff pop shelf is like the target version very calm you can browse around but everything is also still very like cheap and affordable so yeah if you have never heard of pop shelf or been to one definitely try to find one near you because baby i lucked up oh and in addition to the syrup thing that i got the other day i got a glass cutting board right here 
I got this glass cutting board from Pop Shelf, five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. So you cannot beat Pop Shelf, okay? So I'm actually about to um, put this stuff up. That's what I need to do. And then I have a ton of like PR boxes and stuff I need to unbox, and I want to film a cute little like TikTok. So, I'm going to film that. Oh, and then lastly, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. Lastly, I finally got the Topicals Slick Salve Lip Balm that had the girlies going crazy and all of that. Finally got it in the mail, so let's try it out. I've heard that it's like, some of the girls on TikTok were saying that it's like super sticky, but... We gonna try it out and see. Like I needed another lip balm, but it's like, girl, you got Summer Fridays, you got Laneige, support the black owned brand and get theirs. So. It smells good, it smells like mint. Oh, it is mint lip balm. I like it. It is a, a bit sticky but not anything like too crazy I like it we're gonna see how it wears for however long it lasts this is not super sticky I feel like the girls be just wanting something to say <laughs> let me know if you tried it or you have it let me know your thoughts on the tap on the topicals lip balm. Are you here for it? You like it? Is it too sticky? Not sticky enough? What's your feelings? Let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm about to do some TikTok work and then I need to. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, this is the last thing and then I'm gonna go because I've been talking for a very long time. I'm gonna tell y'all later because I I need to go find an outfit. Just know I need to go find an outfit for. Um, an event I'm going to on Thursday because my outfit will not get here until Friday after the event So that's what I need to be doing. I'll be back y'all. Hey y'all Happy Wednesday um, It is Wednesday, I did not talk to y'all yesterday. I Kind of wasn't feeling good yesterday still kind of not feeling the best, but <clears throat> We move um but I wanted to come on here and show y'all, well, get y'all's opinions. But by the time y'all see this, obviously I would have made a decision already. So, tomorrow we're going to um, Kadeen and DeVal's podcast show here in Charlotte. Um, they're, what is it called? Love Against Love, Love and War, or Love and, I don't know, something. Their podcast tour. And so, the outfit that I had ordered from J Lux label is running late and it's not scheduled to get here until Friday. Obviously, the show is tomorrow, Thursday. So, I had to last minute order another outfit. So, I ordered two different outfits. I'm putting on the first one now so I can show y'all. This came from Amazon. And then the other outfit, I overnighted from Fashion Nova. And now that I have this on, I'm not wearing this. I just don't like this. Um, so I had ordered this little skirt from Amazon. Burberry dupe skirt that like Aaliyah Face wore a little while ago. Um, and then this little like crop top brown top but I do not like this at all so that's a no so looks like we're going with the Fashion Nova outfit so Fashion Nova outfit is basically kind of like oh y'all can't even see me so the Fashion Nova outfit is basically what I ordered from J Lux label but just in black so me and Sean were supposed to like match and wear like this really like cream um like a cream color because i had got him this top for valentine's day um to wear because i knew i had just ordered the outfit from j label like a cream colored two-piece 
set is what I was going to wear and then he was going to match. Um, but like I said, that is not coming in time. And yeah, I'm going to keep this um, little crop shirt or whatever, but this skirt is definitely going bad. I don't like it. This is a skirt. It's cute. I just not together and not the vibe that I'm going for. So basically, this is the little crop top and then this is the skirt. Again, this is nothing special, nothing that like I haven't worn before. But and I'm so mad cuz right after I ordered this like overnight, they were like, "Oh, free one day shipping with Fashion Nova I'm like yeah y'all would send me that promotion after I've already placed my order but it's cool it got here in time so that's all that matters this isn't like fitted so it's like I don't know I'm about to pull my this up but but yeah so this is what we're gonna wear I didn't want to necessarily wear black but in true Zanese fashion, this is what I'm wearing. So, this is what I'm going to wear tomorrow for the show. I'm probably just going to do like really big like curls in a side part or something. So, I think that's going to be the vibe. With that being said, I'm about to go lay down. I feel like I look crazy, but... It is what it is. So yeah, I'm about to go lay down. If I don't talk to y'all tonight, I will definitely talk to y'all tomorrow. <laughs> you see, sneezing and just ugh. yeah, I'm about to go lay down. So I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hi you guys. Oh, I need to change this battery. What is up, y'all? Today's Thursday. Um, I'm feeling a lot better than I was yesterday. I know when I came on here yesterday and was trying on those clothes, I just was out of it. But Thursday, just finished up work. I'm about to hurry up and do my makeup and get dressed so that we can make it to dinner on time before the show. So, like I was telling y'all yesterday, we are going to the Kadeen and DeVal podcast show. Um, I'm eating these little breadstick things from Trader Joe's. They're like pretzel breadsticks. Just something to snack on. Ooh, excuse me. Before we go eat. Um, these are so good. But, yeah. About to do my makeup. Just put my Flexi Rides back in. I thought. Oh, my battery's on. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Thought I was going to be able... I had to get a new tripod thing for my camera because I left my um, old one in the rental car in LA. So I had to order a new one and this one was like all stiff. But anyway, thought I was going to be able to have my flexi rods in all day. But I ended up having back-to-back -back meetings from like 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock. So... <laughs> um, I didn't get to happen, but just put these back in. I have to do my makeup. I have like literally an hour to get myself together. I took a shower right before my back-to-back -back meeting. So, I don't know what I'm coming down with or what I came down with. I don't know. I'm still a little stuffy. Like, my nose is a little stopped up. But... It better not be the flu again, y'all. I had the flu. I think I told y'all that. I had the flu right after Christmas. Going into the new year. And I was like, good. I just think we did a lot in January. We were gone every weekend in January. Like, traveling. Between my birthday, I went to Asheville, which y'all saw. But then the weekend right after that, I went back to Asheville for my line sister's birthday. I didn't vlog that. Um, Just because we were mainly like in the house and stuff. And then the weekend after that is when we went to LA. Then we finally got back. First week of Feb, which chill. And of course we had Valentine's Day and all that. But I don't know. 
I know when my body is telling me to sit my ass down somewhere. I'm gonna try and film a get ready with me TikTok or get dressed with me TikTok. Depending on timing. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, we are ready. Just took my flexi rise out. Just put a little extra little bump on this side. Got my little two piece on. Hair looks so good. I love like when I wear like black dark colors and you can see like the color of my hair pop a little bit better. But yeah, waiting on Sean to finish getting ready. I'm always waiting on him. You would think it was the other way around. This is what happens when you marry a noob. The pretty boys, they take forever. Um, <laughs> but we're on time. I, yeah, we're going to La Bella Helene for dinner. I've only eaten there for brunch. Um, and I wasn't the biggest fan, so hopefully the dinner is better. Um, Sean has never been at all, so he chose this place. Um, and especially because it's close to um, the theater where we're going. So, I will check in with y'all in a little bit. We just finished eating. Now we're about to walk down to the theater. I think it's on the next block. Things that we should and shouldn't do, and sometimes we went with the wave, sometimes we didn't. Hey guys, happy Saturday! I haven't talked to y'all in a few days um, because your girl is still not feeling the best. Okay, it's like going up and down. I think I'm like over it, and then I'm not like yesterday, Friday. Well, when I talked to y'all Thursday, like I felt okay. We went to the show. I'll tell y'all about that when I when I get back home. Um, I felt fine. Then Friday, yesterday, I felt good most of the day, but then like I started getting like really congested. My nose will not stop running. Like I feel like I'm like four years old and my nose will not stop running. <laughs> um and then today I've just been in the house. I edited a YouTube video, so that's ready to go, be uploaded tomorrow. Um, and I finally just shot a lot of like little short form content. So I did like a little PR unboxing. I shot some content that I needed to do for um, a brand. And then tomorrow I need to actually film some more content. It's like hair content. Um, I need to do that tomorrow but just been like in the house doing like creator work today um but i'm about to go to whole foods to pick up my order and drop this stuff back off so i can return that outfit that i didn't wear thursday um and i need to go to ulta to pick up my pickup order so that's what i'm going to do now um, and then I'm coming back home to lay down. I just told Sean I'm coming back home and taking some night quill and going to bed. Um, <laughs> I just am not feeling good. And I think it's my nephew that got me sick yet again. And I called him yesterday. I was like, bruh, I have to stop hanging out with you. Because every time I come around, and that's the thing, like, kids are just nasty. And he's not like a kid kid, but he goes to school, you know, he's sixth grade whatever and he always is like coughing and just hackling you know just nasty and so when we were with him last Saturday I don't think I vlogged um but we went to the Museum of Illusions and it could have been a, just a combination of being around a bunch of people in that museum and touching stuff and all of that that got me sick or it could have been him I'm gonna go with him because he got me sick last time and I was in the house all day Sunday and then when I woke up Monday my throat started scratching and that's when all this started I'm like bruh I gotta stay away from this kid but 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit because the sun is like blocking and I'm trying to like hold it up. But we about to ride out anyway. So I will check in with y'all or y'all run these errands with me and then um, I will talk when we get back to Hey y'all. Let me pause this. What's up, y'all? Today is Sunday. I did not talk to y'all at all when I got back home um, from running my quick little errands. Oh, that's not gonna work. Um, <clears throat> I didn't talk to y'all when I got back last night because I literally took some NyQuil, y'all, and I knocked the F out last night, okay? I'm feeling a little better. My nose is still a little congested. Um, it's like 6 o'clock, and I have done absolutely nothing today. Well, that's not true. I did do some, like, content work. Um, but as far as, like, what I was actually supposed to do, I did not do. I was supposed to film... A video uh, a TikTok today for a brand deal that I have over on TikTok um, that has to go up on Thursday and it's a freaking hair video so I'm trying to just figure out when am I gonna do it um, it has to go live by Thursday I figure if I send it over to the brand by Tuesday for approval any edits they need I'll have Wednesday to do it. I don't know. This getting sick just really threw my weekend off. Um, but I'll share it with y'all because by the time y'all see this vlog, it'll be up already. But it is with, and I've worked with them. I've worked with them um, here on YouTube before. Um, but it is with Timo. Ugh. If y'all can see, put it right here. It's for Timo for their Air Hype. Um, blow dryer so that's why i say it's like a legit hair video that i need to do um and my plan was to do it today but i woke up so groggy and tired and that's what nyquil does to you man that shit just makes you so like tired and out of it but i just did not feel like doing it so i think i'm just gonna do my hair tomorrow night i'm just gonna have to do it tomorrow night and edit it and all of that but I did get a lot of other content done um, I posted a YouTube video today it's my silk press must-haves I'll link it up here if y'all have not seen that already y'all probably should have seen it already by now but um, got that uploaded today I also filmed well yesterday I filmed but I, today I edited and posted a TikTok for um, for Noshinku, which is the hand sanitizer brands, um, they sent me over some hand sanitizers and I just had to do a TikTok for it. So I posted that today and then I also edited my unboxing. I did a PR unboxing and this is what I've been meaning to show y'all for the longest. I just have not gotten around to it. Um, I need to find my tripod. Where the hell is my tripod at? Here. I'm gonna set y'all up and just share with you guys what I got in PR. No mind my life that was from unboxing all of this stuff. But I got a package from Verse, which I'm so excited about. Because for Christmas, my mom actually got me one of those Verse kits that they were selling in Target during the holidays. And it came with the mini one of the cleansing balm. So I'm glad I have a big one now. And then I have the Daily Brightening Solution. Is this toner? I don't know what this is. I think this is like a toner almost. And then got the moisturizing gel cream. I got the um, brightening tightening mask. And then the dark spot gel. So thank you so much to Verst for sending me this stuff. 
super excited to try it out like i said i love the cleansing balm that i got in the little kit from target the brand choosy they sent me some items they sent me their beautiful hair chewies which basically promotes longer stronger healthier hair this has biotin in it i believe um so i'm gonna actually try these out shoot i'm gonna try them out and then they sent me a pack of their women's multi um vitamin chewy so thank you to choosy then i also got some <laughs> touchland hand sanitizers which is so crazy um they actually shout out to and i have to give my girl queen a huge thank you a huge shout out to her this is long overdue but y'all know like around the holidays life got crazy i had posted on my story um some coffee and i carry a touchland hand sanitizer on my keys like i have the like little case for it and it hooks on my keys and she saw it and she was like love touchland i was like girl i'm trying to get like you because i think she's like on their pr list and they sent her a bunch of like um hand sanitizers all the time and i was like girl i'm trying to get like you and she was like say less she sent them my email address and like my instagram and stuff like that and they were like oh we love her content and they sent me some stuff so i definitely i have to create some content um with these and again i just have not had the time but shout out to my girl queen thank you once again i told her this already before but thank you, you are the MVP um, for getting me in contact with Touchland and they sent me over some hand sanitizers. Last but not least, I had this black owned hair care brand um, reach out to me and want to send me some of their products. So this is Laid Hair Care and the young lady that owns this brand, her name is Kayla. She reached out to me on Instagram and was like, please send me your address. I'm going to send you some products. And I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> um and she just recently launched in i want to say it was walmart i'm not mistaken i'll definitely do my due diligence and make sure i think it is walmart um that these products just launched in so shout out to her i cannot wait to use these but she sent me the shampoo conditioner um a anti-itch scalp soothing and growth oil as well as a hello silk oh silk me out heat protectant this is nice i may actually try this out when i um do my hair tomorrow i'm gonna leave this out right here so i can try that um so yeah i don't want to use all of these just yet because like i said my main focus tomorrow is going to be filming to highlight the blow dryer so i'm really going to do the quickest wash and all of that tomorrow so i'm not going to try any new hair products i thought my sacred hair products were going to be here um but i'm kind of glad that they're not that way when they do come and it's time to wash my hair i can literally do the whole like process and the whole treatment and all of that with the sacred products um so yeah that should be like the next hair video coming up on my channel is trying out the sacred hair products so i'm excited about that so yeah these are some of the products that i got in my little pr haul um it's just still it's so crazy to me that brands want to like send me things and have me try them and honestly having like black owned hair care brands like this want to send me their products i 100 and i just i absolutely love it and appreciate it because i know especially up and coming brands and like i said she literally just want, launched in walmart so the fact that she wanted to me so the fact that she wanted to send me some of her products like means the world to me so thank you again so so much um for any brand that reaches out to me that wants to send me anything for me to try greatly greatly appreciate it um i do not take anything for granted so yeah with that being said i just have i feel like i had so much to do this weekend and not feeling good was not on my bingo card for this weekend so yeah i was supposed to well i still need to um edit and post content from last weekend so last weekend i was invited by the museum of illusions here in charlotte to um go and capture content 
So I took my nephew and I took Sean and I think that's how I ended up getting sick, but neither here nor there. <laughs> um, that's neither here nor there, but um, I went to go, you know, capture content, capture our whole experience and stuff like that. So I need to edit that content and get that posted sometime this week. So yeah, I just feel like I had so much content stuff to do this weekend, but if I'm not feeling good, I'm not feeling good. And another reason why I just didn't get to edit that because I need to do a voiceover and I still feel and sound very congested. So I'm like, I'm not about to do no voiceover sounding like my nose is stopped up. Like, that's just going to have to wait. Just the content that I could put some music over and call it a day, that's what's getting posted, okay? Um, and luckily, last weekend when we had the long weekend, I was able to film a couple of YouTube videos. So those are under the belt i just feel like i have all the content i just need to edit it um so i think what y'all probably like i said the silk press must-haves is up today already what should be coming up next is finally i have it filmed i just need to edit it so i'm gonna edit it this week actually um my wedding q a so destination wedding q a all of the questions that you guys had about that that is finally coming up um and then like i said the sacred hair care review should be coming up as well so lots of content in the vault and ready to really get on my a game like i said 2024 i'm not playing with myself this year okay i am not playing with myself i was telling somebody who was i telling this the other day i don't remember but um in this this like creator space where you feel like you have to be on instagram youtube tiktok it's too much i chose my two platforms that i plan to stick with and master and i'm pretty sure y'all know what that is that is tiktok and youtube that is here in tiktok um ig is just not my vibe like that i mean i'll post but it's not like something that i'm like oh i gotta need to make sure like i'm posting you know youtube every single week i need to be here every single week unless there's like a week where i'm like traveling and can't really post whatever but my goal is to be here every single week on youtube and then for tiktok my goal is two to three times per week um that's where we at right now with it so trying to stick to that as much as i can as well so those are just my my creator goals um and that's it that is what it is so that was my little TED talk for the day or the evening whatever it's seven o'clock <laughs> I did not cook dinner I did not I did not do when I say I've literally been on this couch all day y'all see the blanket the computer water bottle I've just been on the couch all day I just I can't I need to get myself back together so I will check in with you guys tomorrow this is probably gonna be a two week it like a two week vlog just because I really do not much this week so I'm gonna take y'all with me the rest of this week so I will check in with y'all hi you guys happy Monday it is six o'clock and I just finished up work so I just started my dinner that way I could have my chicken in the oven to start cooking while I get ready to um, do my hair so I'm making some chicken thighs tonight these little roasted potatoes um, that you get from Target they literally come with like a garlic and herb little seasoning pack and then you just like mix it up super easy and then i'm probably gonna make like some string beans or something um but i am getting my office set up <laughs> so that i can get ready to one wash my hair and then two film this tiktok for this blow dryer blow dryer is actually really nice y'all okay so i took it out of the box and just did like some product shots of it but look how small and just like sleek it is so cute um and then it has a comb attachment and it's like magnetic so it just goes right on 
Um, and then it has two other attachments. So it has like the regular like nozzle that the blow dryer has. And then it has a diffuser. So I'm actually really excited to try this out and <laughs> see how it works. Okay. But um, yeah, I just have my computer in here to make sure that I pull up the brief just to know like what all they want included in it. It looks like they really just want me to show myself like blow drying my hair and um, silk pressing my hair or no it says silk press on camera or off camera both, both works. Um, but they really just want to see the blow dryer in action so I'm not going to film myself washing my hair I just feel like that isn't really necessary for this video um probably just get myself taking my hair out of my where is my little towel thing hold on now I'm about to wash my hair and I don't even have my little microfiber towel oh here it is all um taking my hair out of that so yeah that's the only thing with like people think like doing more so like branded content um trying to figure out like how you want the content to be so like coming up with a concept and like a storyline or so like that really takes work i had to really just like think okay am i gonna show my hair wash my hair on camera and not on camera like how do i want the flow of the video to go it's so much that goes into it rather than just like hey y'all i got this blow dryer this is you know what it is so um i'm about to go ahead and wash my hair I am going to use K18. I've been, this is going to be my third time in a row that I've used K18. I'm trying to stay consistent with it um, so that I can do a proper review on it. Um, so yeah, I think I need to go get my, where's my shampoo? I'm going to wash my hair using this. Oh, they did ask me to use the Tymo, um, Heat Protected Mist, which they actually sent me this when I did a review on the actual hair straightener. So I am going to use this um, before I blow my hair out. So Olaplex 4C K18. Still getting used to the fact that like you don't wash this out. I don't need to condition. This is the conditioner. So yeah. All right, y'all. I'm about to get to work so I will check in with y'all probably once my hair is done because this is gonna be a few hours so I will check in with y'all in a little bit hey guys happy Sunday just pulled up to brunch there go Mariah right here. Mariah <laughs> oh I saw you trying to parallel park I was like I hope she get up in there no, that's fine. Because I saw you wait as soon as I pulled up. Oh, oh shit. This. It's Ooh. muddy. Hold on. Let me see if I can hop. Oh, you did it. Hey, sister. Hi, sister. I miss you. I know. I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, it's like a little alley. I knew we was going to be on the same vibe with wearing sneakers. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> Well, I, girl, I gotta tell you about it. I went to um, Eden the other day, right? Mm hmm. So I'm back home. Sorry I didn't really talk to y'all. I think I was vlogging and then I got cut off. But as y'all saw, we went to this place called Vinyl. Um, it's usually like a bar type situation. But they have food like in the afternoons and stuff. But they just um, launched their brunch menu. It was actually really good. As y'all saw, we ordered a little bit of everything. So yeah, I just got back home. I am about to finish editing so that I can get my wedding Q&A video up which will be up before y'all see this so 
trying to get that up it's probably not gonna go up today on sunday it'll probably go up tomorrow on monday but about to finish editing that and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here this was like a two week vlog week and a half i don't know but i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all in my next video bye